Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into one of the most captivating and enduring stories from the Bible, Noah and the Ark. While many are familiar with the basic narrative, there's much more to uncover beneath the surface. Join us as we explore the untold aspects of Noah's story, the historical context, the profound symbolism, and the lessons that still resonate today. 1. The Context of Noah's Time 1. The World Before the Flood To understand Noah's story, we need to delve into the context of his time. Genesis 6 describes a world filled with corruption and violence. Humanity had strayed far from God's intentions, leading to a period of profound moral decay. This backdrop sets the stage for the dramatic intervention that follows. 1.2. Nephilim and Giants A fascinating yet often overlooked aspect of this period is the mention of the Nephilim, described as mighty men of old. Men of renown, Genesis 6.4. The exact nature of the Nephilim is debated among scholars, with some suggesting they were giants or beings of great strength and influence contributing to the widespread corruption. The man Noah, character and faith. 2.1. Noah's righteousness. Noah stands out in this dark period as a beacon of righteousness. Genesis 6.9 describes him as a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. His unwavering faith and obedience set him apart and made him the chosen vessel for God's plan. 2 and 2. Noah's family. Noah's immediate family, his wife, three sons, Shem, Ham and Japheth, and their wives, also played crucial roles in the story. Their support and participation in building the ark and surviving the flood highlight the importance of family unity and faithfulness in fulfilling God's purposes. 3. The construction of the ark. Point 1. Divine instructions. The construction of the ark is a testament to Noah's faith and obedience. God provided specific instructions for its dimensions and materials, 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide and 30 cubits high, made of gopher wood and sealed with pitch, Genesis 6:14-16. 3. 2. Engineering marvel. The Ark's design has fascinated scholars and engineers. Its proportions are remarkably stable for a large vessel, suggesting an advanced understanding of shipbuilding. Modern reconstructions and simulations have shown that the Ark could have been seaworthy, capable of withstanding the turbulent floodwaters. 4. The Animals, Selection and Care 4. one Gathering the Animals One of the most intriguing aspects of Noah's story is the gathering of the animals. God instructed Noah to bring pairs of every kind of animal, bird and creeping thing, along with seven pairs of clean animals for sacrifices, Genesis 7, 2-3. 4.2. Caring for the animals. The logistics of caring for such a diverse group of animals for over a year is a significant consideration. The ark would have needed to be equipped with sufficient food, water and ventilation. Noah and his family would have had to establish routines and systems for feeding and waste management, demonstrating incredible dedication and ingenuity. 5. The Deluge, Scientific and Historical Perspectives 5.1. Geological Evidence 5.2. Archaeological Insights Archaeological discoveries have provided proof that the flood of Noah happened. Marine fossils high on mountains. Fossils are one of the best evidences of a global flood especially where many fossils are found. For example, we don't find marine creatures such as fish, clams and corals buried and fossilized on the sea floor where they once lived. Instead, we find most of them buried in sedimentary rocks on the continents, even on high mountains. For that to happen, the ocean waters had to totally flood the continents, and that's exactly what the Bible describes during the global flood. 6. The Journey and the Aftermath Based on 1. The Flood The Bible describes the Flood as a cataclysmic event, with rain falling for forty days, and nights and the fountains of the deep bursting forth, Genesis 7, 11, 12. The waters covered the earth for 150 days before they began to recede. 6.2 The Landing and Covenant After months of drifting, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat, Genesis 8, 4. Once the waters had fully receded, Noah and his family disembarked and made a burnt offering to God. In response, God established a covenant with Noah, promising never to destroy the earth. With a flood again and setting the rainbow as a sign of this covenant, Genesis 9, 12, 17, 
7. Symbolism and Theological Insights 701. Judgment and Salvation The flood story is rich with symbolism. It represents God's judgment on a sinful world and His provision of salvation for the faithful. The ark itself is a symbol of refuge and deliverance, prefiguring the salvation offered through Jesus Christ. 7.2. New Beginnings Noah's story is also one of new beginnings. After the flood, humanity is given a fresh start, with Noah and his family as the new progenitors of the human race. This theme of renewal and hope is central to the biblical narrative. 8. Lessons for Today 8.1. Faith and Obedience Noah's unwavering faith and obedience to God's commands are powerful lessons for us today. Despite the ridicule and disbelief of those around him, Noah trusted in God's plan and acted accordingly. His story encourages us to remain faithful even in the face of adversity and trust God. 8.2. Stewardship of Creation the care that Noah and his family provided for the animals on the ark highlights the importance of stewardship of God's creation. We are called to protect and preserve the earth and its creatures, recognizing them as part of God's good creation. 8.3. Hope and Redemption The story of Noah and the ark is ultimately one of hope and redemption. It reminds us that even in the midst of judgment, God's grace and mercy prevail. The covenant with Noah reassures us of God's enduring love and faithfulness. 9. Conclusion and Reflection Noah's story is much more than a children's tale about a man, a boat and a flood. It is a true story filled with deep spiritual truths, historical mysteries and timeless lessons. As we reflect on this story, we are reminded of God's righteousness, His judgment and His boundless grace. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of Noah and the Ark. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth biblical insights and teachings. Let us continue to seek understanding and grow in faith together. Please do not forget to pray and read your Bible. It is important to grow in your faith. God bless you.